Greetings everybody and welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning and to our pristine world which I've already gone through the effort of sinking down into the ocean. Now then, that does mess with the temperature a wee bit. As you probably already noticed from above, we do already have phytoplankton. They have just appeared in the world because I did need to get a little bit of energy. Now... The world has tiers. You may already be able to see them. In fact, there is a good, good point. But uh, let's let's actually go into first person mode so it's easy and e even easier to see. There we go. There's tiers in the shallows. There, this entire world is shallow so far, but some of it is a little bit deeper than others. Now let's uh, head back out. We're going to see how much uh, time it's going to take for zooplankton to show up because that's really the point where we're going to start being able to play around and uh, start developing life on this cube. Phytoplankton is uh, developing very well. There's an awful lot of ocean there for you to propagate into. I'm going to try and do... Oh, good. There we go. I'm going to try and do this without using any things like um, the water of birth or anything like that to create life. I will happily mutate life here and there. But we're going to try and avoid forcing life into existence where there was none there before. Now, at about 100,000 years, I'm going to stop the clock. There we go. Okay, so what's the temperature right now? 56.9 degrees. That's not terribly bad, all things told. The temperature in the water here is 54. Now, with that in mind, let's have a look. What's the first creature on the list? Uh, it can, uh, 53. Okay, so stro uh, stromatolite could do with a little bit colder, frankly. And maybe we can help that along by dropping down a very simple little chillstone. I mean, we could try and use global cooling, but I frankly don't think it's going to have much of an effect. I think we're so far over the point where, um, like, I think there's like a temperature cap. I could drop down a couple of these right now and it won't bring it down, I don't think. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, we haven't changed the uh, temperature that we're tending towards, so I'm going to preserve them for now. Uh, let's pop down this chillstone, though, because this will give us slightly cooler waters around here, which will possibly encourage other life to uh, start to progress. But we are going to pull down the temperature quite a lot soon, because ultimately, having a, a temperature in the sort of tolerable ranges, I mean, the hot range, realistically speaking, up to about 50 um, degrees, is where... Um, lichens and, and mosses will start to actually propagate and cover the water. So, let's pass time a little bit more. And I would not be too surprised if we find... Uh, what is it? Stromatolite? I believe that's the, the name. Uh, stromatolite, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to take them too long to show up. But we'll possibly give them uh, an, up until 200,000 cube years. The plankton are doing amazing. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Just in time. And the zooplankton have just exploded, my lord. Now, one thing to be aware, with a large cube like this, that the numbers you need to get anything to happen are going to be significantly higher than usual. Now, we've got uh, one over there. We've also got a couple of things around the world, and we'll probably be picking up a lot of these as well. In this episode, we are going to be uh, doing more than just waiting for time to pass. Do not worry. Uh, there we are. But I wanted to make sure that we actually had some sea life in here already. But this is... Pro well, we'll probably let the uh, populations explode a little bit further, but I strongly suspect that this is going to be about the only place, wherever that chill sun is, that has any kind of greenery showing up. Where on earth is it? Is it just over here? Yeah, there we are. I strongly suspect that this is going to be the only place that has any kind of lichens or anything starting to develop in the ocean. But let's uh, put that theory to the test, shall we? We're going to pass a little bit more time. Uh, maybe take it up to 250,000 years. Oh, no, there we go. Cyclomedusa has already been born in the cube. Where about do you get born? Um, it is around this chillstone, so yeah, I'm strongly suspecting that we're going to need to uh, encourage this temperature to drop uh, quite a lot, actually. Now, in the beginning, I'm going to be dealing in very, very large broad strokes, I think. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm not going to mess with your environment too much. Let's, uh, yeah, let's let's take the, the water, uh, sorry, the um, depth of this land up a little bit towards the back 
of the oops, that was pop that one down uh, towards the the top of the cube. We'll make make some sort of like a little spire of land just sticking out into the ocean, and then fill all the rest in. Now this is going to take me a while, and it's going to be boring to watch, so I'm not going to be putting a time lapse here. But I will be putting time lapses once we actually start to sculpt the land. But all I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a platform of land that'll hopefully affect the temperature a little bit. So bring you back in a moment. Hooray! We have finally reached the point where global cooling actually reduces the temperature. Oh, happy day. Right, the global temperature is now 50 degrees. Pause from Adelaide over here. You have given your life so that the seas may cool. I appreciate it quite a lot, actually. Now, we've also got Elrathia has joined us. It has celebrated its first birthday in this particular world. There we go. Hello there, little buddy. And this place is now quite cool. Or rather, it will get quite cool over time. As you can see, not very much work has been done on the uh, on the coastline just yet. I've done a little tiny bit because, I, frankly, I can't resist. But we are going to leave any significant shaping for probably towards the end of the videos or maybe not even in this episode, depending on how much shaping needs to be done. So time for us to pla uh, pass a little bit more time and hopefully to see the world cooling and ooh, there we go. Denorthis and Baragwanathia. I love the sound of that name. Hello. Now, it's going to be super hard for me to notice things showing up, but there we are. Got a little, little guy over there. Fantastic. I approve. Also, more things for me to collect. Ooh, the land is starting to uh, absorb that moisture. Very, very nice indeed. I am very pleased about that, actually. Very pleased. Noticing a little bit of greenery along the uh, the edge of the coast. That's actually pretty cool. And I like the effect that, it, that it's had, actually, where... Um, I set up the the main thing first, and then I just dropped the the uh, the coastline just like one layer, a little bit here and there. It's actually created quite a nice nice little area. Though I am a little bit concerned that this is the only place with uh, greenery in here. Though I suppose it's getting a little bit better now because the temperature is starting to drop. Right. Well, let's uh, pass a, a little bit more time. Though before we do, let's go and have a look at the library. Now, in terms of the tree. We want Codium uh, Fragile, or Fragile. 21 degrees to 31 degrees. That's going to be hard. That's genuinely going to be a difficult one. Uh, we've got Cyclomedusa to get you. We need 20 to 30. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's make a little, little spot where that might be able to happen. Let's make this part super cold. So, we're at 50 right now. Let's drop it by 30. Bomp. There we go. Now, that is going to be super cold so hopefully that works rest oops that is totally not what i meant to do i apologize right let's head back out and spend a little bit of time waiting and welcome back we have finally got pikea it has arrived and also a lot of time has passed but look at our cube look at all the greenery around here still more around here when it was cooler than elsewhere, but it is starting to creep down there very slowly. It's about 51 degrees there, uh, around about the same over there, actually. There's not too much um, divergence in temperature. Eventually, we'll have green and moss and all that kind of stuff all the way down to the very bottom of the map, and that's going to be fantastic. In terms of up here, it's going to take a lot more to get um, plant life getting up there because it's way, way far away from the coast, which is a bit of a problem, frankly. Uh, we've got one more thing that we can pick up. But the temperature seems to be doing okay. It's down to about 53 degrees, which is very, very nice for us. Uh, the seas, as we've seen, a little bit hotter, about 55. Oh, no, actually, sorry, 51, I meant to say. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm fairly, fairly happy. Where's Paikia? Can we, anyone spot Paikia? Ah, oh, so, so frustrating now because we don't get an easy way to find new things that have been born. I wanted to know whereabouts it had been born. Uh, it doesn't seem to be up here, however. Okay, well, Pikea, wherever you be, I hope you're having a fun time. In fact, let's uh, just switch purely... Oh, there's so many things around here. Hmm. Going to be a bit of a problem, that one, I fancy. A teensy wincy bit of a problem. Oh, well. Let's head back out and actually have a look at some of the uh, population. So we've got 70,000 Pikea, 636,000 Kalunia. Um, we've got a decent amount of plants, but you know, they're still they're still recovering. Actually, Baragwanathia is doing amazingly, 504,000. Denorthis, 1.6 million. 
Elrathia, 7.4. Oh, things are going okay, I would say, on a whole. Now, let's have a quick look at where that puts it over here. We still do not have Codium uh, Fragile, or Fragile, or whatever it is. Uh, we do have Pakia now, so that's going to open up a lot of these moving forward. I'm actually really excited for that. But we can expect to need a lot of more numbers on a large world like this than we did previously. We're not going to... It's unlikely we're going to see much going on down here for a little while, I should imagine. What, what is this? In the air. We're unlikely to see that for a while, I would say. But as far as these, we really do need to get the uh, seaweeds because we've barely touched those. Um, what do we need for you? 20 to 30 degrees. Jellyfish that live in warm seas near... Ah, uh, okay, so we, we do actually need to get you then. Okay, well, we'll have a, have a look and see how that goes. Time to pass some more time. Oh, wow, we've got our first tree and our first tree is dead. Well, that did not last particularly, particularly long. Sorry about that, tree. You were with us for a very short time there. But, uh, hmm. Oh, you're back. Oh, you're, uh, you're gone again. Uh, I, I feel we may need to do a little bit more to help you out. Actually, what do you need? Since, since you're so desperate to join us, let's have a quick look at what it is that you, you actually want. You want 23 to 33 on land. Okay, we can, we can, we can see to it that you get that. Let's head in, because I feel bad. I feel bad. It's trying so hard, damn it. Trying so hard and failing. So, so badly. Um, yeah, it's about 30 degrees. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Uh, let's move the, the stone a little bit closer, though. There we go. 20 up there, 19 down here. That oh, That's way too cold, I would say. Let's use this one instead. There we go. Right, okay. So, with all of that done... I think we are going, well, do we want to cool the world down a little bit more? I'm not entirely sure that we do, frankly, but what we probably do want are some lakes and rivers and the likes back here. And that does, in my mind, necessitate some sort of mountain. But again, we're going to be going in very, very rough um, strokes with this. So let's just pop down. Let's go up by two, let's say, and then... Down by one there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do something like this. We're going to have a little mountain right over in the corner, and it's going to create a lake. Or rather, it's going to create a river that's going to run down and create a bit of a river delta as it meets the, uh, meets the shallows down there. So let's get on with that, shall we?
Okay. All right. Forward. I really don't know how a river delta would form. I've got, well, I mean, I've got a vague idea. I did study geography in school, but I didn't, it wasn't one of my um, elective courses. So, you know, I studied enough geography to know the earth is round and there is trees on top and the trees stop the sand blowing away and all that kind of stuff. So for everyone in the comments who does actually know how this stuff goes i did try my best i am very very sorry and also embarrassed in advance of any mistakes i have made especially the really super obvious ones by all means let me know in the comments how it should look if it should look vastly different and i will do my best to try and change it links are welcome to any sort of wikipedia articles or anything but as a first stab i think that's okay uh, I mean, you know, the top, it could do a, with a lot of work, but I think it looks actually quite nice. Uh, hopefully, this is going to give plenty of room for various fish to grow. And actually, I don't like this little line. Let's get rid of that one. There we go. Uh, but as a whole, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. And this little place down here just, you know, hopefully we'll get some trees going around it. In fact, let's do a little bit more shaping because, you know, you're never finished. Or at least I'm never finished. There we go. So uh, that'll that'll do there for now. I hope that was a, a pleasant time lapse for you. I actually really enjoyed doing it. But wow, did it take some time. About 20 minutes all told. And it's probably going to have very little effect. Now, we have had a couple of new species. Blue Grammar has also joined us. But we're at 750,000 cubiers. And it's time to move forward. Oh, Autumn Fern has come to join us as well. Marvellous. Getting lots of plants. Wow. Ooh. And uh, we've got a tree again. It's probably going to die. Uh, what was that animal we just got, though? Let me go have a look at you. No, I don't think it was you, was it? It actually... Actually, let me just go out and check again. It was Pachynorthis. Okay. Let's uh, go and have a quick gander. Uh, if we can see it straight away, I'd be really happy. Is it something that has popped up around here, maybe? I like that the trees are growing there, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's uh, pop in here. All right, let's have a look what we're looking for. New, new, new... New, new, probably new. Uh, what have we got? Is it you? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's any of those. It was a. It was, looked like a starfish. Ah, right. Okay. Here we are. There we go. It was a uh, a shelled. Uh, I forget what they're called. Mollusk, I think. There we go. Oh, that was that was really digging in the depths of my uh, my English knowledge. It's always it's always the obscure names of things that I struggle with the most. Not being a native speaker. Right, let's go. Because how often do you need to say mollusk when you're talking Welsh most of the time? Uh, ooh, Silophyton. Okay, we're starting to see a couple more things popping up. I'm really glad that all of those rivers are actually allowing that land to start to uh, properly. Ooh. Oh, you only just joined us and you're already gone. Alas. But that, that little bit of land is actually really starting to, to look nice. The temperature is still on the high end, frankly. But we can adjust that in time, I'm sure. In fact, have we got... Oh, we've actually even got one of these. Uh, sure, okay. Throw it! Wow! There we go. Let's keep the temperature below the 50s for now, shall we? Let's see how things progress there. I'm going to let a little bit more time pass, maybe up to 1.5 million cube years, and I'll bring you back when we've seen what we've got. Ooh, astra uh, Astraspis. Let me just... Oh, something else just appeared. I have no idea what it was, but... Uh, Astraspis, what are you, then? Let's have a look. Uh, new, 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 new. Okay, none of those, so it'll be over here. There we go. It's uh, one of the ancestors of actual fish. Marvellous. Let's see how quickly we can start growing those out then. Uh, what do you need? You need a really hot sea. Wow. Okay, well, given that, maybe I should make a hot part of the ocean. You know what? Yeah, I think we should. I think we, we should make a hot part of the ocean. And a hot part of the land, too. Let's make a little bit over here. Let's, let's try and get this side a little bit warmer, shall we? Uh, let's not go too, too over the top, though. Maybe 10 degrees is enough. It'll take us up to the, yeah, the 45 sort of area. There we go. Let's see how that does with a couple of decades. Or, well, a couple of decades. A few 10,000 years. <laughs> a couple of tens of thousands of years. Or maybe 100,000 or so. See you in a few moments.
Okay, well we've seen, as you can see, a, a few populations decreasing and also a couple of deaths of some of the uh, plant life, unfortunately, due to the drop in temperature. We did add quite a lot of land at the end of the day, but overall I'm fairly happy with what we've managed to do. Oh, what, what have we got? Oh, we've got, got a little, uh, little uh, pack of northis up here as well. But what I shall do next, I think, we either want another island out in the shallows or some sea. Now, I'm favouring sea because it's one of the biomes we don't have yet. We've got land, we've got shallows, we have not got sea. And that would probably make some sense to have a little dip in the, the ocean over here. I'm not seeing very much greenery. It really hasn't managed to get past this point, which is a bit of a shame, frankly. I'm Maybe we can help that out. If I'm not sure if this, uh, if the well, no, actually the moss is starting to move around. I might be able to. It's very, very just beginning to creep out. But let's just drop a couple of little areas that already have moss on it onto the lower level, just to see if that can uh, encourage it to uh, start spreading out on that level a little bit more. And of course, a little bit of shaping, you know, because uh, we don't want it to be looking too rough around the edges. There we go. And uh, over here, it's fine. We can probably just pop down that or about there. And we're good, I would say. Right, okay, so there we go. All of that is sorted. And hopefully we'll see that starting to spread out a little bit. And I'm really enjoying this way of playing the game. We're just doing little bits here and there. Oh, all the Pikea live out here. Ah, marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Now, would this take us down to ocean level? Uh, sorry, sea level. Let's go down. Yes. Yes, it does. Very well. We're going to sink this whole area down by one level. Now, of course, I'm just going to cut that out because it's kind of boring when all I'm doing is dropping them down, and then we'll see if we can get any sea life growing out here. Oh, look at these! Our nine-star organisms are already here. Fantastic. They've got a fairly good population, too. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. But I have gone ahead and sculpted a little more of this area, so uh, I've, I've brought it down a little bit. And later on, we'll probably have the uh, deep ocean starting spreading out from this sort of area. And gradually, we'll adjust and, and move the uh, planes of the shallows around to accommodate that. So with that, we're heading back up to pass a little bit more time. I'm actually really liking the, those rivers, by the way. Wow. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with that. That has resulted in the temperature starting to increase again. So it's going to be an interesting place to see where that ends up. Because you can't ever be entirely certain how it's going to go. It'll tend towards a specific uh, temperature, but uh, the presence of, of life, especially plant life, does seem to affect it uh, to lesser or greater extents. Uh, looks like, oh no, Autumn Fern might be going out. Oh, bye-bye, Autumn Fern. It, it, was, it was a pleasure knowing you, but uh, alas, alas, the gods have spoken. You must be a sacrifice. Rip, Autumn Fern. Okay then, I think at this point we're going to want to start using our mutations. Now, we're going to probably want to try and find a Pykea, mutate one of you. There is a chance that using the uh, mutation will go down a step. In fact, uh, apparently that is quite common, but it will tend towards the dead end development tree. So uh, Pykea would be a very good one to work with. Though uh, that being said, actually, what temperature are you? 49 to 59. Hmm. I mean, there is a place for it. We do have a place where you could survive fairly happily, I think. But maybe that would not be down here. Let's just check on Pikea. How how hot do you like it to be? Oh, you can handle it being very hot. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, right, so around here, we're going to drop down a warmth stone, I think. Um, sure, let's just use a basic 10 degree increase here. Oh, no, there we go. Perfect. And let's evolve some of you, shall we? Let's make sure that this is actually one of my hotbar items, because I'm going to be using this quite a lot. There we go. And you as well. And we'll just make sure there's a good chance that we'll get a couple of the new species. There we go. Pop. Perfect. Right, let's head... Oh, actually, I should, probably should have checked. Uh, was there something that you really wanted to do? It appears where Anamolacaris can be found. Well, they're actually much further up. But hopefully you will spawn into existence and then uh, all will be well. I mean, the temperature isn't terribly bad up here. It's not great for you, but perhaps. 
And if we can manage to get you, then I'll be fairly happy. You can notice we're... Uh, there we are! Fantastic. And they're already gone. Well, poop. Um, failure to launch, I'm going to say. I'm going to say that was a definite failure to launch. Alas. Oh, well, they need a, a lot more heat, I would say. The Autumn Fern is still on the way out. Uh, what other creatures can we aim for in this episode, then? I mean, I would really, really, really like to get you, but the world is a little bit too hot for you, isn't it? Um, a P's and C's with algae blooms. Hmm. I mean, Kalunia might need to die off for us to get Cotium, but I, there's a lot of other things that live off you, isn't there? I'm not sure. I mean, if we have a look over here... Um, for us to get anything that moves up onto land, we're really going to need you, and you need deep sea. Okay, well, that's going to be a little bit more of a pain for us to set up. Okay. But it is clear that we probably do need the temperature to actually start dropping a little bit at this point. Which is a little bit sooner than I was actually expecting. I was expecting to have a little bit longer in a, in a warm uh, area, but there's still loads of different things that we need that are going to need it quite hot. We're going to have to go through several ice ages and uh, several periods of uh, the world warming up for us to get everything, I think. And on the way, we'll probably end up with quite a, a lovely looking little area, I, I hope at the very least. Uh, so I think with that, we're probably going to be wrapping up this episode. We have got a fair old population. In fact, let's uh, go and check on the cube stats specifically. There's about 11.1% oxygen in the air in the world at the moment. Uh, population has been going quite well. The record high was 1.87 million organisms. Species types, the record high was 28. We had a mass extinction of species when the world cooled. So uh, by bringing that temperature up a little bit, that'll hopefully uh, start seeing more species showing up. In terms of the air temperature, um, eh, it's not too bad. Record low of 44. It's currently at 47. Uh, the water temperature is currently 48 degrees. So it's middle of the road again, more or less. And moisture is doing fairly well. I think uh, we may actually want to bring back some of that coolness to the to the shore though i think that maybe moving that away was a bad idea because it seemed to be doing quite a good bit of work while it was there so we'll leave that there for now and hope for the best but that is going to be it from me so thank you very very much for joining me and i hope you have enjoyed do let me know in the comments if there's anything particularly you'd like to see me try and build towards either spawning certain species or simply trying to build certain types of land masses around this world and i will see what i can do but until next time, do remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you then. Take care, everyone.